Need some help finding some edge in the prop market? Check out the Props AI tool on the LineStar app, your one-stop shop for all the information you need to place smarter bets. Gain insights into player history, projections, and trends, along with sportsbook odds. You can even compare the lines across multiple sportsbooks using our Prop Finder. Get the edge with Props AI today at linestarapp.com and take your prop betting game to the next level. Good luck, and as always, bet responsibly. Welcome to the Pre-Snap Podcast presented by LineStar, your top three NFL player prop bets for Thursday night football, plus our touchdown calls of the game. Alongside Tyler Weeman, I am Shannon Somerville, and we've got some great picks for you for this Thursday night contest. We've got the Las Vegas Raiders going up against the Los Angeles Chargers. The Raiders favored by three in this one, so we'll get to our top three picks that are available on Underdog Fantasy, Prize Picks, Sleeper, and Chalkboard. By the way, if you don't have those apps, download them and use the promo code LINESTAR. You'll get up to $100 of your first deposit match, plus the tool we are using. It's an awesome tool, one-stop shop for all of your research needs. It is the LineStar app's Props AI tool. Make sure to check that out at linestarapp.com. On Monday night's show, we absolutely crushed it. We were four or five of the props we gave out. Tyler gave out a bonus. Uh, we both actually gave out another bonus with the Daniel Bellinger call. I know it just cleared that line at 14 and a half receiving yards for Bellinger. Uh, some of you that got it maybe a little higher didn't, might not have cashed that, but on our show, we were four or five on our prop picks. Plus, we had that DeAndre Hopkins touchdown call that cashed for plus 220. So congrats if you guys tailed us. If you didn't, that's all right. You can tail us again today on our picks. And because we were so successful, it is a money gun day here for the show, putting on the money shades. And we're going to announce a contest winner. First, we got to set off the money gun. Oh, oh, oh. Had a little uh, obstruction there. We're good to go. And every time on this show, we have a props contest whereby if uh, we hit all of our props, one randomly selected commenter will win $60. So we have to announce a winner for today. And the winner is Mr. Jesse James 120. Congratulations, you won $60. Now, I did say on the show if we go three for three, however, we gave out so many that we went four or five. I was like, you know what? We'll give it out. We didn't hit all of them. And we weren't perfect, but we did hit three of them. So hopefully you guys were able to cash in on some of those and mix and match in the right ways to make yourselves profitable on Monday night. Thursday night's contest is, honestly, it's a bit of a mess when you're looking at this from a handicapping perspective, a Tyler. <laughs> a little bit of a mess. We've got the Los Angeles Chargers who are without wide receiver Keenan Allen, but more importantly, they're without their starting quarterback, Justin Herbert, mm -hmm. who's out for the season with a fractured finger. So in comes Easton Stick taking over the starting role at quarterback for the Chargers. On the other side, you've got Aiden O'Connell, who is the quarterback for the Las Vegas Chargers, or the, the Las Vegas Raiders, <laughs> rather. That's how much of a mess this game has like turned my brain into absolute mush when we're handicapping it. But they could be without their star running back, Josh Jacobs, in this one. Also, Max Crosby, one of their star defenders, is questionable in this one with a knee injury. And they've got some issues on their offensive line. Starting center Andre James is out with an ankle injury, as is left tackle Colton Miller. So something to consider as you're eyeing all of these props and kind of this game in general. What is your immediate, I guess, reaction to going and looking at this game from a prop perspective? Uh, the only thing I can really go here is I think that both of these teams should just lean into some of their, their young guys and see what they have because neither team are really in the running for the playoffs. So mm -hmm. you might as well start looking at years, uh, you know, years coming up instead of focusing so much on just getting the win here. Now, it is an interesting situation because the Raiders do have the interim coach and the mm -hmm. better that he does most likely, you know, the better their uh, his chance of retaining his job is. Uh, another thing to add to that injury report is De Devontae Adams is technically Correct. still questionable, but he is expected to play. It was just an illness. And then mm -hmm. for Josh Jacobs' questionable status, he's, he's mispracticed all week. So mm -hmm. I would say he might be a little more doubtful than questionable. Sure. All right, so lots to consider as we head into our props for Thursday Night Football. Again, Underdog Fantasy, Prize Picks, Sleeper, and Chalkboard. So let's, last week we had a really great week in props. We were 12-5 and five overall. So let's carry this into week 15 here. Starting things off with Tyler talked about a lot of the young stars, and the teams should really just see what they have 
in some of their youngsters, specifically wide receiver Quentin Johnston. And we're taking his line at over 26 and a half receiving yards. Line star and the consensus both in an agreement that he should clear this line of 26 and a half. Johnson is averaging 26 receiving yards per game, but keep in mind that includes the games when we were with Keenan Allen and earlier in the season that includes when Mike Williams is a, was in the mix as well and now it just seems like they're losing pass catchers left and right on this Chargers team actually over the last five games Johnson is averaging 41 he seems to do a lot better and last week we saw him put up his best performance of the season 91 receiving yards against Denver which included a 57 yard dime and that wasn't from Justin Herbert Tyler that was from Easton Sticks so we could see that connection come up again tonight I think he clears this over what do you think yeah, I think so, too. I mean, he's averaging over 42 yards a game over the last four. And since his snap counts went up starting in week eight, he's been over in four of seven. And the Chargers do really need to see what they have in him. The other thing here is both of these guys, Stick and Johnston, were on the second team for yeah. most of the year. So they definitely have some chemistry already. And we saw it last week with that 57-yard catch. So hopefully they can do something like that. Uh, so I like this line. I also don't mind his reception line at two and a half. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, both spots, I don't mind going over. Look, with no Keenan, they got to see what they have, and they are going to have to throw the ball a little bit. So don't mind For Quinton. Furthermore, going up against a Raiders defense that ranks 25th in pass defense DVOA. So certainly teams have had success passing against them. I think even though it is Easton Stick back there, like you mentioned, they've got some chemistry. So don't overlook this prop here for Quentin Johnson over 26 and a half receiving yards. Now it's time for Tyler and I to pick our best bets for Thursday Night Football. Where are you headed, Tyler, for your prop pick? I'm going to go with Aiden O'Connell over 194.5 passing yards, minus 115. Look, our line star projections, 233. The consensus is almost 220. Uh, Chargers ranked 25th and passed DVOA. And quarterbacks like Tyler Badgen, Aiden O'Connell has already done it, and Zach Wilson have been over. 11 of the 13 QBs the Chargers have faced have been over. I think it's an okay spot for Aiden O'Connell to make another start, get over. And I actually bet this earlier in the week when the line was almost 10 yards higher. <laughs> so uh, I definitely endorse the line at 10 yards lower at 194. So let's go for the over for Mr. O'Connell. Yeah, the Raiders definitely going to see what they have there with O'Connell. And I feel like if you can't clear your passing yards line over 200 against the Chargers, like what are you even doing, yeah. right? I mean, this is a team that mm. gets a lot of passing yards put up against them that we've seen time and in, time out. So I like the prop pick there. I think the only thing we talked about before the show was my only concern being that they were so noncommittal with him even starting that I thought maybe he'd have maybe a little bit of a short leash there. However, mm -hmm. I like your point that your counterpoint to that argument, which is, hey, they got to see what they have in this kid and see what he can do out there. We're just two games removed from his best performance of the season. He can absolutely sling it and put up some some passing yards. I like the spot there. All right. Now it's time for my pick, and I am headed to Raiders wide receiver Devontae Adams over 68 and a half receiving yards. Both lines are in the consensus, predicting the over here. Adams averaging 67 receiving yards per game, but he's gone over that mark three of the last four games and absolutely dominates the Chargers, who, by the way, ranked just 29th in pass defense DVOA versus opposing teams wide receiver one. In the three games he's played against the Chargers as a Raider, he's gone over 75 or more. In fact, in two games last season, he had over 100. I expect him to clear this over of 70. I like it up to probably a little bit over 70 receiving yards. I think Devontae Adams could be in for a huge game, especially if O'Connell and him can establish a connection early in this game. Watch out for those two and some fireworks in this one. We've seen a lot of receivers put up big numbers against um, this defense here. He had 75 receiving yards the last game earlier this season against the Chargers. I like the spot again tonight for Devontae Adams to clear that. You can find these again on Underdog Fantasy, Prize Pick, Sleeper, and Chalkboard, and use the promo code LINESTAR for up to $100 of your deposit match. Also, Make sure to do us a huge favor, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and comment below. It helps us out a ton. We do a lot of research and put a lot into our props, so if you could do us a huge favor, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Also, a comment enters you into our prop bets contest. We announced the winner at the top of the show. Hopefully, we can do so 
Once again, when we go three for three on these picks, all you got to do, comment below. You're automatically in it to win it. Let us know where you're headed in the prop market for tonight or this weekend in general. Week 15 has a lot of good matchups, so let us know where you're headed. Now it is time for our touchdown calls of the game. Tyler, where are you headed for a touchdown call on Thursday night football? I got to go to your prop uh, bet. We're going Devontae Adams plus 165 for a touchdown. Now, I do have to add here, we only have a 34 uh, game total. So there is, you know, possibly very limited touchdowns in this game. So any touchdown bet you make might be interesting to just make it a first touchdown because it could be the only one. So uh, just adding that little betting insight there. But all in all, look, Devontae Adams is in a good spot. The Chargers are allowing 1.1 touchdowns per game to the wide receiver this season. And he has the most red zone uh, targets of any player in this game. So I like him for a touchdown today. I like Devontae Adams as well, as you know, for my receiving yards prop. For my touchdown call... Yeah, I think we're going to see an air guitar celebration tonight. Austin Eckler, plus 160 for a touchdown tonight. He has six touchdowns on the year and 22 red zone tries over the last eight weeks. I know there were some concerns with him maybe losing a little burst of his speed and kind of that explosiveness, but I think he's going to be fine here going up against a Las Vegas Raiders defense that ranks 25th in opponent red zone scoring. Plus, they rank 23rd in rush defense DVOA and 23rd in pass defense DVOA versus opposing teams running backs. And we know that the Chargers love to use Austin Eckler in the passing game. I think this is going to be a game where they're really going to lean on Austin Eckler, especially with Easton Stick back there at quarterback, lean into some of those dump off passes to Austin Eckler in this one. I think he could find the end zone in this one easily. And I love that plus money price tag for him. We're going to see some air guitar celebrations, Tyler. So get ready. Get ready. I'm ready. Let's do it. All right. Make sure to check out the LineStar app. It's what we're using for all of our research here on the show. You can find that linestarapp.com. The Props AI tool is what we're using specifically for props. And it gives you all of the best uh, leverage and information, basically compares LineStar's projection to what's out there in all of the different sports books. Plus, we also have a tool when we give out these touchdown calls, which, by the way, we've been crushing the touchdown calls here on the show. I know a lot of you guys come to our show to see who we're choosing for a touchdown call, put them together in a nice little parlay of of touchdown calls so the tool that we use for that a lot of the time is our red zone tool on the line star app and it can give you a look at how teams have targeted certain players when they're in the red zone so very helpful tool there you can find that at linestarapp.com all right that's going to do it for our thursday night football breakdown be sure to stick around the line star youtube channel we've got a ton coming your way including week 15 prop bets for underdog fantasy or if you're playing in the various sports books plus we also have nba We've been crushing the NBA, 60% success rate this season, so be sure to tune in for that as well. And as always, make sure to comment below and enter into the contest. Hopefully we go three for three tonight and hit both of our touchdown calls. Let's go get it. Good luck out there. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. Good luck.